Hello and welcome back to Into the Dark Forest. I've been looking for the mages and I am informed that they're in a flooded portion of the caves where you need to dive deep and probably use a breath potion to get through. Uh, I'm pretty sure, and then there's a room, a very full of barracks. And maybe I, maybe that's where I was before, and I confused the forest areas with barracks for that. So I'm pretty sure I found the way to the mages, but I don't remember where it was anymore. But now we're back in the mines, right? This is the Hammerite house. So it's definitely, definitely this way. Um, so there wasn't another exit from this cave, right? Just this one. So there's another flooded cave. Unless, unless I'm mistaken, the, the other flooded cave was the other side of the Hammerite place, but that's that was part of the mines. That takes us through the mines. This is the Hammerite village that connects to the mines. That can't be right. It's got to be this way. There just must be another flooded section of these caves that I can't remember where it is. And I just follow around, I guess, until I find it. Other keepers, it wasn't there. This one is a dead end. So if I come around here again. Remember when I thought this was the mages there? And that's the two spiders. That way that way is not right. That way led to the village, right? Maybe it's down here. No, that's the pool that I can't get out of easily, right? And then there weren't any other... Do I have to go back and look at my past footage? Maybe I have to go back and look at my past footage. Just to try and remember where I was when I found that place and how I got there. It would save time, but it would actually take a bunch of time to do it. And uh, it's very annoying trying to scrub through when I'm wandering around caves trying to figure out where I am. It wasn't, there was no passage down there. That was just, just the one that you fall into. It's convenient for falling into. But apart from that, there was nothing else to be said about it. There's this place with the two spiders. It's this passage, which I think just connects back to the same loop I was in a minute ago. Yeah, there's a spider there. But I didn't think it was on the other side of this section. I thought I took a long time. Can we see? Oh, hello. Is there something more up there? Let's try going higher up. I thought it took a very long time to explore this area. Carrot. I mean, not took a long time to explore, but a long time to get around to doing this. I thought it came after I had done my ambitious underwater explor explorations, you know, of long dives. Well, I haven't been up here as far as I know, so maybe there is, maybe there is something up there. Yeah, there is. Um, something fun. I don't have any mines anymore, do I? Dang. Because that would be a good place to chuck a mine. Well, here we go. Just loot and a, which is probably impossible to ghost, but that's fine. I'm not bothered about ghosting. Ouch, that's not good. Uh, okay. 
That's very not good. I'm trying to hit the wall that slopes. Just trying to hit the wall. Oh. No, that's not good. Can I get down from here without hurting myself too much? Yeah, I suppose I come this way. Okay. All right. That's better. So, in my memory, am I still doing the same way? Yeah, I think so. In my memory, the big long dive was was way before I came here. Yeah, this is the barracks. Way before I came here. Maybe it was the other side of the Hammerite place, but surely not. Man, I am so turned about now. I am very, very annoyed by all this. Am I sure it wasn't down here? Of course I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure there was nothing down here except the spider up there, the keeper's grotto there, not the actual keeper's, where the cave the keepers are hanging out in, but the one with the chest they used to keep the skull in. I feel like I feel like I'm going the wrong way, but then I've been feeling that for a long time. And I'm very frustrated by it. The primary objective of the mission is very hard to find, and that's not a good thing. This is fun. Jumping from ladder to ladder is fun. And because of the deep water underneath, it's also quite safe. Which is the best way to make it, if you have to do that kind of thing. Oh, that's you. I thought it was, thought it was like a diamond or something. Alright, we're back at the entrance to this house, right? This is the way, this is where I came in. So, this is still the caves. Maybe there's a pool of water in these caves somewhere that I was swimming through before. Maybe. And if it ever starts looking like mines, then, I'm, then I'll know it's wrong, but... Uh, now it's looking like forest, which is confusing, but... Uh, oh yeah, that's the bit I couldn't mantle up. That's nothing. I'm sure I've been here before, but uh, well, there's water. Oh, this is this bit of water with our uh, more of the Hammerite Village. The Hammerite Village feels like the wrong place, right? thought there was another pond in the deep caves. It's not that one, that's not deep enough. Although... Is this another dead end or does this go through? Oh, that's the little island where our frog beast was that I tried to sneak up on a blackjack. And here we are where a hammerite friend, where I've used a mine on him. And I don't think there's any way forward from this little section, right? This was just a dead end. Damn it! That's just where I came in here from. Wait. I came into this lake. From this section, right? There's gotta be another way out of this. I don't think that's the way I came here from, was it? I guess it must have been. There doesn't seem to be another exit unless... No? 
I thought I came in here and snuck up onto that island from this direction. Well, I don't remember anymore. It was a long time ago, and I've been going round and round for a long, very, very long time since then. Oh wait, where's this? Or maybe this is where I get, got there from. More village! This is a double-decker village this time. Very first part of the village. Um... This is the bit that connects with this house. So I'm kind of going around in circles all over again. Is this just where I came in? Just now. Well, this is the lake with a tree. Well, I can barely even see the edges of the walls now. My eyes are that tired from looking at low contrast areas, looking for passages. I've been here many times, but it's not where I needed to be. This building is horrible. It's just a maze. None of it makes any sense. Okay, that's the same. Where just was? Is this the double decker one? Yeah, it is. It's just the lower deck of it. I've obviously used that before. That's the stairs I just came down, so let's not go back up there. Once again, I am so glad I knocked everybody out because uh, when I have to do all this backtracking to try and find where. Right, that's the ladder. Where the hell I've been, then it's not much fun at all. Okay, so this. Wasn't I just here a second ago? Doesn't this only... Yeah, I was just here a second ago. This, this is where I, isn't this where I came into this place from? In the first place? But not up there? Or was it up there? Oh no, it was this way. Okay. Back in caves. I think this just connects to the mines. Wait, I was just here. Was I? And now I'm getting around in circles. What? I thought this direction here was the way I went after the building, not the way I approached that building. I'm pretty sure this is all wrong, because I'm pretty sure this is going to... No, it's leading me back here. I mean, yes, it's all wrong. Oh, right. This is how I got to this area. And this leads to the mines, right? This is where this is the guy I knocked out. Yeah, all right. So. Okay. So I vaguely think that being on the other side of this building is correct. That it is the caves there that I need to be in, because it was the grey caves. It was the greyish caves. Oh, not you. What was I saying? It was the greyish caves where we found the uh, the big swim. I'm pretty sure of that. Not honestly, I'm no longer 100%, but I'm pretty sure. I mean, the mines are very clearly separate from the caves, right? And that's. I don't think that's misleading. I think that's correct. Come back through here, I find the metal floored part which connects to the caves. It's a relatively short passage. If you take the right turn, if you take the wrong turn, it's very long. Okay. So we're back in the caves, this takes us back into the water. And if I swim through this hole, get off the ladder, Garrett. There's only one way, I believe, out of this chamber. Which is up on that, is there? That's a rock, not a passage. Okay, so this takes me into the caves with the spiders, right? <laughs> I 
here. I went around a lot, but um, it's not where I want to be. All right, let's try down here again. Like, I feel, oh, there's a water, water arrow I missed. Cool. Uh, I feel like this is wrong. I feel like this is not the, uh, this is my lots of spam jumping and, and diagonal moves. Oh, I left a rev arrow there. Not that it matters. Right, up there was the spider cave, which didn't go anywhere. Over here was the keeper grotto, which didn't go anywhere, right? That was a dead end too. And going back up there just takes me back to the spider cave. So where the hell was the deeper water that I could swim through? Should save, but uh, I'm just losing patience now. I am very short on patience. And when I'm very short on patience, I, uh, I'm probably not very entertaining to watch because I'm just, well, firstly it's not going to be very entertaining to watch because I'm just going around and around and around and around and around and around, and around in circles. Secondly, it's not going to be very entertaining to watch because I am just very annoyed right now. All right, where is that cave with the two dead spiders? This one. So maybe it's the other side of this. Although I think I was just here, just now, but maybe this is the right way to go. If I ignore that and come through here, where does this take me? Maybe this is just where I was a second ago, right? Well, not a second ago, but uh, last episode when I was just going around around circles. Yep, there's the cave, there's the skull we used to mark the passage, all right. Hang on. What's down this way? It's nothing new, but I just can't remember what it is or where. All right, let's have a look in there. The skeleton at the bottom of the Keeper Grotto. That's just where I came in. It's okay, so where does this take me? This is the old village. Well, this is the part of the old village. This is definitely the wrong. I didn't come here until well after I'd done all those swimming explorations. What? Where the hell was that? All right, let's go find a landmark. Let's go find a landmark. And I'm going to go review my old footage, so I am so damn glad I was recording all this. Right, landmark. Here's the cave with the keeper stuff and everything. Alright, time to uh, go review. Okay, well, let us jump back in here. I went and reviewed my footage and found, again, the one passage I need, the one I've got to swim through. The one which is, you know, has the long swim of probable doom. It is down here. And I didn't remember it because all this place looks the same and after a while... Hi, Robero. And I need to get down here without taking damage. I think I can just slide. Cool. This is the passage I was missing. I was running round and round and round in circles, failing to find because it's at the bottom of a pit that I couldn't even see was a pit unless I came back and looked. And even then, from the entrance to the pit, I can't see the passage. So visibility, very poor. Entrance, quite hidden. Frustration level, very high. So... Oh, so this is just... that was nothing. There is... 
a second passage through there that leads me to the deep swim, I believe. Right, the deep swim starts in this chamber. Yep. Well, I still have two breath potions, so I might as well... Hopefully I don't need to do any more swimming after this, but I might as well just do this. Use one as I go, when I need to. I mean, I've done this swim, what, twice before? Three times before? Four times before? I can't remember, but... Uh, I don't remember it leading... to any majors area, but uh, I don't actually remember where it led to. And I don't know if I actually explored the other side of where it led to. Hello, I see some loot. <sighs> tempting, tempting, and I shouldn't buy into the temptation. Alright, I won't need the breast potion now. The one was just enough. Okay. So I went a little way along this, but I don't think I went very far along it. Of course, I didn't actually look, check the footage to see if I explored this fully. There was a skeleton who had a, some loot on him, and the book I read, right? This was a merchant. I think I went no further than this. I think I went back. Well, there's still a barrack. Alive. Several barracks. Let's try not to disturb them. If they, uh, if they, if, if I can get by them without, without being bothered by them, it might just save me more effort. All right, this is definitely new. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna be able to get by him, am I? Wait for the patrolling one to go away. Now, did anyone hear that? Yes. So far, I, okay, so you're going to investigate, that's fine. As long as the big mummy barrack doesn't see me, then I think I'm through. Good. They all calm down back there. So, another forest. But as far as I can tell, it looks the same as the other ones. The only reason I know it's new is because uh, I have not been in this case before. So, three underground forest areas that are all confusingly similar is, well, confusing. What have we got up there? A light. Mushroom. So, is this, you know, is this this part marked forest? Surely not. This must be the unknown part. But it's not an auto map, so I don't even know that for sure. Could <laughs> it would be the worst if this was just another part of that same forest I've been to before that just connects in a way I hadn't anticipated. Um, at that point, I would probably just throw in the towel on the mission, even though I never like to leave a mission unfinished when I'm LP. Well, we have a thing. A strange thing I don't recognize. A circular sphere with a stone face on both sides. What is objective complete? Find the major's hiding place. Okay. So majors have some weird sentinel. That I don't like. I don't like that sub right here. Well, that thing has a long uh, patrol path, as it were. 
There's not much darkness. There's darkness right where I am right now. So I might just be a little bit patient and wait for it to come back. I want it to up that way. Plus it's got a face on both sides, so that means it sees both directions at once. That's possible. Um, that's what I would be inclined to make it do, but uh, although then I would probably emphasize the eyes on the texture a little more, but yeah. Well, I heard a mage. Oh, this goes nowhere. Well, this was where that thing was going, so. I guess I need to wait for it to come and go again. And look up at the stars, that's the way. Again, underground, everything's underground, everything's deep underground. Feels wrong. Can I knock this thing out? It's worth a try, right? I mean, probably not. It doesn't feel like it's this kind of. Sentient creature one can knock out. I mean, it reacted. Oh, it explodes, okay. Or is that its attack? Okay, I'm not sure. Garrett, just be satisfied with uh, sneaking past it, I think. Rather than wasting all this time. Alright. I, mean, I could try gassing it, but it doesn't look like it breathes. The problem with mages, of course, is most of them are immune to something or other. The ones that are, there are, some of them are immune to gas. It's not really uh, obvious at a distance who's who. So, how am I going to, how am I going to get the drop on this guy? I don't know. I have no patience. So straight up murder it is. There's an, upst an upper area there as well. You're a fire mage, water mage, air mage, earth mage, I don't know. Let's put that out. So somebody heard the death scream. That was almost certain. That was pretty much bound to happen. So I can get up there with a rope, or I can come and see what's going on here. It's a little dead end. See where all these narrow corners lead. All right, spiral stairs. Hopefully, by the time I get up, the other guy will have calmed down enough. These stairs are too big as well, these are one unit high, which means uh, if you are crouching to be quiet, getting up them is a big jump and in some, depending on the exact physics of the place, you may not even be able to get up it at all. Alright, that's the bridge, so the guy was the other side of the bridge. Maybe he was this side of the bridge. Either way, I don't see any mages in my face just now. Well, there's one. Lots of lava. Metal. Dang, fire mages and their love of lava and metal. They're worse than them. Amorites. Right in this area. I 
use this uh, one as well. Okay, so he didn't see me. The power of fire magic spells. If you want to create fast acting and powerful spells that are full of energy, then creating a fire spell will be something that you might like to consider, although it is said to be an element that is to be used with caution. For as energetic and powerful as it is, it can also be dis destructive. Spells in particular that work well with fire are banishing or transmuting spells, and those that create passion or overcome apathy. The most common and easier to control method of using fire is through the use of candles and lava. And if you want to add a little more to your fire energy, you could incorporate fiery stones and herbs such as carnelian, bloodstone, cinnamon, and cedar. Whatever you do though, don't underestimate the power of fire in both physical and magical sense. It is wise to take precautions when working your spells and with your intentions when casting them. Nobody wants to get burned. Fire is powerful and active. It represents spirit, passion, and energy in all of its forms. It is fast paced, paced and is usually to bring more energy to your purpose. It can purify and commands the utmost of respect at all times, but it's also destructive. It burns, scorches, destroys, and transmutes everything in its path, and it moves quickly, too fast if you do not control its force. Its energy is considered the most powerful of the elements, and is one that needs to be monitored and controlled at all times so that you can maintain a positive equilibrium and avoid scorching yourself and others. By Archmage Carino. Okay, so this is above the thing, so that's probably the way I've got to go. Let's finish exploring this, uh, this, this building. Bookshelf. <laughs> Somebody was in bed a little too long. Major Raphael, Adept Aziel has turned into ashes and bones in a spontaneous combustion when he tried to perform the acute fire manipulation near a pool of hot lava. Using the spell wrong has transformed the lava into a blaze of flames that annihilates anything in their path. Please be kind and give order to the servants to organise a proper burial for him. Nasser. It's a well. No, it's a thing a pit for fire. There's a door. Mysterious sounds. Let's not go that way. Let's go this way. There is a disturbance. Let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Look, <laughs> it's just got this little uh, personal bathing pool. Can I? Question is, will he drown in there? Well, presumably not, because he's not bothered by fire. I don't, don't know if that means he can breathe in it. Firebomb. That's something entirely new. Unheard of. And a key. Alright, so there's going to be a locked door somewhere. Is there anything on those rafters? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I do wonder why it's there. I guess it's got a light on it. Just for hanging the candles on. I could throw the firebomb at this guy, or I could gas out of him. I'm not sure if there's a reason to, to go in here. Is there a reason to go in here? I can just exercise my impatience. There is not a reason to go in here. Sorry, dude. Ah, oh dear, somebody heard that. Well, that was foolish. That's just a roof light. Oh, is it this guy in this lava pool? Oh, 
Yeah, I think it's that, that guy in his lava pool, yeah. Whoops, quite right, I can't run from my fate. Alright, I'll leave him there. Although I could gas him. I should probably gas him. Return to the pool. Because then I can come up here and cut down this banner. Although wait, it's not a real banner, it's one of the ones that are just a texture. But at least he might be throwing fireballs at me anymore. Alright, onward. Take stock, I've got four gas arrows left. Don't want to be seen by that thing down below, so let's remain a little cautious. I think I've still got the other side of that bridge to cross as well. Can't remember. This is new. Also large. Also with people patrolling. Oh. Fire shadow? Seriously? I've got five water arrows, should be, I think it's three they take, I don't remember. Where does it show? Fire Shadow is, uh, I think, my least favorite of all the changes in Thief Gold. Oh, it wasn't even loot. Oh, well, that's where I came in, isn't it? No. Oh, is this the same bridge? Okay. It's quite a long patrol. The magic circle. At the beginning of every ritual, it is essential to make a magical circle. It doesn't matter if it is a ritual for water, air, earth or fire. In order to do it properly, first of all, one has to find out the exact positions of all four directions. If you are not sure, use a compass. Start every ritual with making a circle around you with your full concentration. Visualize strongly that you are in the middle of a golden ball or a ball of pure light. This ball is impenetrable for all immaterial beings and ghosts. You can mark the circle also physically with candles, chalk, salt or stones. Oh, this place is enormous, I'm already getting lost. There's a fire shadow wandering around and I don't know why it's wandering around. Oh look, I don't want you going and alerting anybody, even though you're not going to harm me yourself. So I'll keep it with my knocking everybody out strategy. It's not dark. This corner should be dark. Alright, well I guess the fire shadow probably doesn't patrol in here. Probably. What's that? Just a giant thing. Slowfall potion, why do I need slowfall? 
How to prepare powerful potions. When you are ready to prepare the infusion, put all the ingredients, any safe plant material, whether fresh or dried, including whether fresh or dried, including roots, herbs, fruits, bark, and resins, in a cauldron full of water. If possible, use full moon water for extra energy. You can either type the ingredients in some cheesecloth or just let them float loose. The more ingredients you use, the more potent your infusion will be. Allow for plenty of water as you will be boiling your infusion for a while and some of the water will evaporate. Set your cauldron on the fire, let the mixture come to a full rolling boil and then let simmer for half an hour. Remove the cauldron from heat and let the infusion sit for a while to cool off. If you have placed the herbs in cheesecloth, after the water has cooled enough, bring out the cheesecloth over the infusion. If the mix is floating loosely, use a strainer to remove it from the water. Your infusion is now ready to be used or, stirred, or stored. Healing potion recipe. 1 cup magnolia blossoms, 1 cup chamomile blossoms, 1 cup bergamot leaves, 1 cup tangerine peel, 2 cups sage leaves, 2 cups peeled ginger root, 3 cups cinnamon sticks, 1 cup basil leaves, 1 cup juniper bearings. Invisibility potion recipe. More ingredients. Slow fall potion recipe. More ingredients. Veronica. Oh, so maybe she wasn't a servant, maybe she was just a... Uh... What's the word? Herbalist? Oh shit. Potion making. And if they've set this guy up like he is in um, Bone Hall, he's just gonna respawn. I think that's his default setup. Or at least the easiest one to copy paste. I've been here. He's coming here. I am not. Or maybe not. Where did he go? Oh, okay, he went in there. Is this where I came from? This isn't the way I came in. Is this another section? Oh, I'm so confused. How big is this that place? can, thankfully. You're a fire mage. Oh, you've also vanished. Oh, there you are. You're a fire mage. Why do you have a pool of water? Well, maybe you're supposed to be a water mage, but you definitely had a fire spell on your hand there. This place is another large maze. Gas mine, all right. Well, oh, take those. Every room. Well, there's somebody I haven't knocked out yet. Rooms have different stuff in them, but there's 
they still feel all samey, they're all um, mostly similar heights, wide and low. I think I saw him. Mysterious sounds. Oh. They have suddenly mysteriously stopped. Alright, this room is quite different. This room. These arches make it stand out quite a lot. Our recent expedition in the ruins of the old quarter fac facilitates Archmage Voltus a tremendous success. Using potent fire magic spells, he successfully charmed a few fire shadows. After three weeks of research, Mage Almond found another method for taming these creatures when he invented a charm potion. Good news, as we can, as we need more of these constructs, as they can replace guards and provide us security. You wouldn't have uh, left one of those charm potions lying around for me to find, have would you? I wouldn't mind charming a few fire shadows of my own. Somebody was patrolling here just a minute ago. Gotcha. Come with me, there's a nice, nice dark little corner here for you. There's a door here I wanted to check. Wait. Yeah, what's this one? Oh, hello. Can I pick it? I can, but the handle doesn't move. Oops. Although I guess getting door handles at the right angle is a difficult thing. Another key. So I've got two unlabeled keys in here. One gold, one silver. Okay. Mage Alzuran, we stored the artifacts you retrieved from the lost city in the treasury as you ordered. I return the key to you for safekeeping. Wizor. Wizor, that was unwise Zor. As it was leaving your money about. So where's the treasury? Somewhere in this labyrinth. should be able to find something in here. Why it looks why do you think that guy looks as much the same as any other room? I mean, that's obvious that's obviously a thing that opens, right? Oh. That's I don't know. Fire lights up the dark, warms up the earth, and transforms the physical into non-physical, such as ash, smoke, and dust. It's hypnotic, mesmerizing, transcending. Is this a carpet? I mean, it's stretched. Okay, is it is it solid, or is it an object? Because that other one certainly seems like an object. That's a thing, right? Absolutely a thing. Well, this is obviously an important room. It's a carpet that sounds suspiciously like metal and might well be uh, an elevator. Um, can't see any switches. Now, fire lights up the dark, transform the physical into non-physical. You're saying I'm supposed to transform this into non-physicality. 
Nope, that's not right. What am I supposed to do? Use a firebomb. No. Nope. <laughs> Though using a firebomb was interesting to see the effect it had. Anyway, uh, firebomb is not what I need just now. What am I missing? It feels like that thing about fire lights up the dark, whatever, is supposed to be a clue, but yeah, like, the only place I could put a fire really is in here. Oh, hell. Switch hidden in there, right? I didn't actually need to put the fire out. Okay, do I hurt myself going down there? It looks like I will. No, okay. Just not. Although, I don't see how I'm getting back up. I don't see any switches. Guess we'll find out if there's another way up this. Okay, I can pick this up. Where do I need these keys for then? And what about that other object that was behind the throne up there? I think my work here is done. Archmage Arceus, we are very pleased with our collaboration until now. The City Council of Blackbrook is thankful for all the services and information you provided. We look forward for ways to synchronize our military efforts and actions for our common cause. We have information that the Baron is planning a huge offensive near the gates of our city. Our agent Dorcas Goodfellow managed to steal the plans of war from the Baron's castle in Wayside, but he's now hunted by the police and was forced to hide in the catacombs beneath your city. Try to contact him and see if you can find a way to send the plans to us so we can prepare our counteroffensive. We hope for the best, and may our cause prevail. The City Council of Blackbrook. Right, we finally got the secret correspondence, and we just have to get back to the city gates. Okay, I guess this is the way out. Um, what was the purpose of those keys? Ah, oh, okay, this explains the throne room. Right. I got two keys, which I don't know what they're for. Um, where's the way out of here? I don't know what they're for, and honestly, I'm not overly bothered anymore. There are places in here I have not explored, I think. What was down here? Oh, that was the room where I found one of the keys. Maybe the keys were for that, were for those, that locked room there. Ah, oh, the chest set. Uh, I guess that's an object someone made, because that's the same chest set I saw in. Um... Uh, what mission was it? Morbid curiosity, in the pawn shop there, which I thought at the time was made of brushwork, but I guess was not. I'm lost. Where, where's the way out? No, that's not the way out. Is this the way out? Right, this is the way out of that part. Takes me back into this... Wait, no. Yes? Yeah, it takes me back into this part. And there's another way out of this part somewhere. Did it go down there? I don't think I did. <laughs> Sleep and stop snoring. Oh. Is this the same forest? No, this is that's the stone bridge. It's another guardian thing me dude. Whatever they are. It's a different one. Oh, this is a dead end. Hmm. 
with just some loot. Must have missed something there. I don't believe I did. They come in here. How to race and summon a wind. Go on a seashore with an empty jar and fill it with plain, clear, fine sand. For this is the only ingredient you need. Keep the jar secret and safe from sights. Store it for future use. Store it for future use. The clearest and the finest sand, the better for the spell. Then go out and stand alone. Face the direction of the wind you wish to summon. Take a handful of the clear sand and throw it to the air, calling the name of the wind. For example, east wind come and summon you with a clear heart. Do this three times. The wind should be summoned. I am. Um, oh, I have been here. <laughs> Alright, so the Fire Shadow Patrol is around in this area somewhere. Should be on the lookout. That's him. It's snoring. So those flame burning, burning sounds. Who was that that I heard snoring then? Are you all is not still another breath and an invisibility potion okay could be relevant and another book to read and a chest Rugby stick, okay. Are you an earth wizard then? Besides generic methods for summoning demons used by pagans, invocations, sigilly, body painting, and circle casting, necromancy is the art of summoning the dead or of using corpses for various magical ends, and catoptromancy is the art of scrying with magic mirrors to communicate with the absent or dead, or to obtain sought after objects. Both are forbidden by the inner circle. The name and hierarchies of demons are drawn chiefly from the Book of the Sacred Magic. The apparitions are sent to distract magicians and lure them from their protective circles. Archmage Abramelin. Uh, I hear footsteps. Oh, I thought I did. Yes, I did. All right. Well, if he's the fire shadow, then am I back on on track or what? I'm really just trying to find a way out now, but I'm completely confused. I don't know whether I'm heading into the building or out. Oh, well, I'm going around in circles because I was just here a second ago. Our fire shadow friend. I think he goes into that room. Good. Although perhaps I should have closed the door, you know. Alright, so this must be the way out because I'm pretty sure it came that way. So. Although every room looks the same. I mean, they're not identical, but they've, they're not very different. Should I read that? No. 
How to cast an earth elemental. Find some dirt and a rock. Say this ancient incantation. O oh, mighty spirit of earth, give me your strength when I am in need. Give me the power to shape the life you create. Earth, give me the power of thou mighty spirit. An earth elemental will be summoned. It resembles some features of human flesh. Can see, can hear, and feel. Is it an earth elemental then that's floating around outside? That might be. Alright, I think that's the way I went in. Which means this way it would be the way out, right? Yes, I hear Mr. Fire Shadow coming. So let's go. This is. Yes. Although, I do see a ledge. Or is that the treetop? Can't tell. Treetop, I think. I thought there was a passage there. Looks like there's a passage there. But the treetop doesn't let me get to it. So let's leave it. Right, where's the way out of here? Did I go in all these? Yes, I think I did. Yeah. Oh no, this is a that's not the way out though. It's a dead end. This is the guy gassed. Okay, yeah, this is the way I came in. Did I check this room? No, I didn't. Oh, those have got a globe. List of fire magic spells. One, Amira's easy lightning spell. This is an interesting white magic technique in which you light up a street lamp using the power of your focus. Two, alchemical spark. This spell will conjure a bright spark. Take great care as it can easily ignite wood. Three, ancient fire spells. It's true that there is one kind of spells I love the best of all. The really, really old and primal ones. Consider this. For how long have human beings made fire and looked into the flames? 4. A portal to the Moor of Chaos. Opening a portal to hell. Warning. Using this spell needs a lot of concentration on fire. 5. Ashes of the Flame. To control fire, follow the spell, but use it wisely. Overuse can result in spontaneous combustion. That's not a globe, it's an earth elemental. Get it. Earth. Get it. Right, here's here's the steps out. Did I come to both sides of this bridge? Yes. That's just the bit where the uh, earth, where the fire mage walks. So there was a quicker way out of there, but I couldn't remember what it was. No matter. So now we go all the way back through the caves and try and find where we first came into this place. Adjective omitted. Where is that patrolling earth elemental thing? Do I really care? I have an invisibility potion and no use for it but to ev evade him, so I'll evade him. All right, well, we found the majors, we found the secret correspondence, we've done everything we needed to do. We're well past our loot goal. Oh, we've got a firebomb. Yeah. Still got like four gas arrows I haven't used, right? <laughs> um, all we got to do is find a way out of here. Use our breast potion. Oh, I forgot about their barracks. We perhaps are not as calm as I hoped. Well, it's alright, I can outrun a few bikes. I don't know what the slow fall potion was for, but maybe it's just because the majors, they have potions. Which way was it here? Down here. Well, three breath potions, alright, that's plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Mm -hmm. 
if I don't pick up water arrows and forget where the breast potion are and have to fumble for them. <sighs> Alright. So... This brings us to the bottom of the cave. I'll have to rip our way back up again. But then I know the way back from here, I'm pretty sure. Well, most of the way back. I don't know the way back through the mines exactly. But I can find it. Let's take a souvenir. And let's leave the souvenir here with the other souvenir. Look, it's the bones of a two-headed man. And with all these rope arrows, I can, you know... I can even be utterly wasteful and leave them all behind. And I'll still have, like, ten left at the end of the mission. Right, where's the way out? Oh, going higher up is the best way out, isn't it? Nine left, not ten. All right, then we go down here and to the left. And down here will bring us back to the Hammerite area. Well, Hammerite building. I think. Yes. Although, ah, uh, it's out here. Should use the firebomb on the barracks. Oops. I did a lot because I have attach on jump, but when you're swimming, you just attach on touch anyway, regardless of the setting. Same as when you're actually falling through the air, most of the time. Um, and so I jump to get on the ladder and end up jumping off. And if we come through here, we get out the front and we can get back to the mines relatively easily. Oh god, I did it before but I've forgotten now. Must have been up here, right? Because I did it just a bit ago, I think this is it. No? Box. Maybe this one? Nope. There's another path out of here? Yes, okay, so it's just almost invisible, that's all. For a second I thought I was going to have to spend uh, another eternity in purgatory wandering around. Wait. Wait, no, this just goes around to, to here again. What the hell? Where the hell? I found the way to go. I did it. Like, I went there. I was there earlier. Where is it? And this is just where I was right now, right? Just a bit ago. Just, just half a minute ago.
pretty sure that that other building was the very first one I encountered, but maybe not. Maybe the upper floor of the two-story one was... Now this is just the passage which gives me brings me to Frog Beast Island. So this is a dead end. Isn't it? What the hell? Oh wait, what's up here? Is that just where I was? Okay, what's around here? All right, good sign. Upper level of the two-story place. Maybe a good sign. Oh, that's just because that's just part of the building again. Where the hell is the way out? Not the lo not the lower level of this building, that's for sure. So it's not the way out. I could have sworn that the bit with the windows, which is around here somewhere, was the first part of this whole building that I came to. I could have sworn that in, the, in like episode one that I came in here. This is this is how I encountered the building. I came up here because I snuck over here. I used my rope up there, right? Before going that way. Um, and I didn't come from there because that just goes around in a loop. So I'm, did I drop down there and then try to mantle up here? Because I remember trying to mantle up here and having trouble, but I didn't think I came in that way. Did I come in from here? Maybe there's another exit from here that I'm just completely missing because it's just pitch black. Was there a rope up or a ladder up from here? Am I just it's just invisible in the dim light? Am I am I misremembering that? That's a circle. Venn diagram of people that are lost, that are hopelessly lost, and me. It appears to be a circle. It's not that way. It's got to be in here. What am I missing? Where? I was there, like at the start of this episode or something. Oh my god. It's not this way, I know, because I explored this way after coming through there and trying to mantle that uh, and failing. I didn't come down this way. Did I? Did I drop down there? I don't think I did. This path. This dead end. Now, even if I drop the boards down, it's not actually a door, so it's, it's entirely a dead end. No extra repels off here that I'm missing, are there? Oh, here's the rope, okay. <sighs> right, back in the mines, and somehow there's a way out of the mines. I think if I turn right at the top here, just kind of try and hug this right hand wall. I don't remember which level we're on, but if I find a lift, I need to get up because it's the topmost level. Alright, people. Topmost level was the entry level, so at least I can um, remember that. It's another, another benefit. It's a very slight, but it's a benefit when a place is as confusing as this. Um, here I left, okay. To have been playing it all in one session, even though it's a very long session now, because 
if I had been if I'd come back days later I would have been completely at a loss I would have remembered nothing and just been getting around even more and more circles uh, green is that the way out of the mines yes this is the way out this takes us back to the city gates Phew. all right Alrighty. Hello, City. I'm very glad to see you again. I'm sorry I called you Shitty before and I shouldn't call any voice. Is that it? That's the city gates. Do I have to come back down the side of the city? Oh, there's a side gate, I suppose. Alright. At last. That was Into the Dark Forest, and after much circling, out again. We uh, just shy of four minutes elapsed time, though with uh, reloads and breaks and stuff it was quite a bit longer. Still missed a whole bunch of loot, but that's alright, missed a secret somewhere. I'm not going back to search for that, I spent far too long wandering around in circles. Um, the two like building interiors, the ha the mechan uh, not mechanist, the hammerite one, hammerite building was um, horribly confusing and maze like, and the mages one was also pretty very confusing, and everything looked the same. The mines were good. I really liked the mines. Um, the mines had a lot of varied angles and up and down, and although I was never quite sure where I was. I easily found places I recognised and passages I recognised and could find my way around. The caves... The caves not so much. The caves were... There were too many different bits of caves. Too many different bits of underground gardens. They all blended into each other. Like, there was the caves... There were multiple flooded bits of caves and things that felt disconnected. I don't know, it was all quite confusing. The memorable, the memorable bits of the caves was obviously the keeper's room, the spider rooms, the the room with all the platforms that, and the pool at the bottom. Those were all memorable, um, but the connections to get there weren't. And finding that path back to the mages again was was horribly frustrating because it's just there's nothing in the mission that hints at it at all. So nothing I could have found on the way that would have helped me out the first time, or nothing that I found on the way that could remind me on the map didn't didn't really help. And my memory didn't help. I'd, I'd found it before and then forgotten how I got there. Thankfully the recording helped. So, uh, you know, it was not all bad. Um, yep. So, <clears throat> uh, I think that's going to be all for me for tonight. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you join me here for the next mission.